Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, let's start with the important things and at the moment the real important things are far from Juventus, I'm speaking about the health conditions of Joe Barone, sporting director of Fiorentina, yesterday Atalanta, Fiorentina, Fiorentina, Atalanta, anyway the game has been postponed with Joe Barone that has been taken to hospital where as we speak at the moment is still in intensive care, families next to him, also some persons representing Fiorentina, I'm wishing my strength, I'm wishing all my prayers because this is what really matters. This is what really is important and not a game of football. But we are a football channel. We are a Juventus channel. So we have to speak about the loss 0-0 of yesterday between Juventus and Genoa. More importantly, we have to speak about the moment. We have to speak about the coach Massimiliano Allegri because this is the topic that we have to go through we can't avoid it we can't hide so we have to speak about max allegri maximum of like if you didn't it please continue to subscribe to the channel if you want to support the channel by the way just between all of it i wanted to say thank you to all the people that supported me also on my second channel football that since today completed the first step to be monetized and that's already a great one no ads yet so it's not fully monetized but it's already the first step and i really wanted to say thank you to all of you that are also helping me and supporting me on the other channel if you didn't yet yesterday we uploaded a really nice video with some games about barcelona atletico madrid if you want to have fun and think about something else you can go there that being said let's go back look this morning i woke up and sincerely the first thing i had in mind um because i read eh? i read i listen to you when you're speaking into the channel chat i take all your, your your messages your reactions your frustration into consideration the first thing that i had in mind when i woke up was i envy those that are really thinking that sacking massimiliano allegri the coach of juventus will solve all the problems of juventus but almost seriously i really envy you it would be so easy it would be so fast it would be so fantastic you sack a coach you replace him and then you go and everything is done everything is solved you know that i have never liked the allegri in allegri out battles i like the motivations of people that want him out i like the motivations of the people that want him in but these battles i don't like them why because i believe but seriously that they are not objective anymore whatever he's doing the man we are against him or we are pro him. Whatever he's saying, we are against him or we are against or pro him. And it's incomplete. I never believed in finger pointing one person only which you have all the bad of the world. You are accountable for every single problem. I don't believe in that. But that being said, we have to wake up and check the reality. It's the third season in a row where at this point, more or less of the season, sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit later anyway, it's the third consecutive season where we are asking ourselves the same questions about the coach. It's not about discussing the person. I have immense respect for Massimiliano Allegri. It's not about discussing the coach. I have immense respect for the career of Massimiliano Allegri, for the intelligence of the man. That's not the point. That's not the point. It's just arriving at a certain moment where in, out, you're asking yourself, Max, coach Juventus, the right one, not the right one. Is he able to solve? Is he not able to solve? And this at a certain moment, especially in the moment that we are in or that we were in, it's not healthy. Not for the person, not for the coach, but especially, which is even more important, not for the club. And you know it, according to me, the club is bigger than the players. The club is bigger than the coach. The club is bigger than any manager. The club is bigger than presidents. The club is Juventus. That's the most and the only thing that really sincerely matter. Because people, they come and they go, Juventus will stay. You will have good and bad moments, Juventus will stay. Supporters will stay. Some will leave, some will come. But supporters, the core, will stay. When I'm telling you I envy those that are only thinking that Max Allegri is a problem, it's because in today's video I want to speak also about other people that have responsibilities. Today I want to focus, especially when we'll go towards Juve, Genoa, about some players 
that are also accountable, especially because they don't realize the moment that we are in, they are throwing everything away. It's not about, I love the shirt, I love the badge, I'm doing it for the supporters. No, for themselves, for their own pride. Yesterday, I was expecting, I was expecting, I was hoping. Expecting means, in a way, you think that it can happen. I was hoping, hoping in a Juventus players, players, that was saying, we qualify to that FIFA Club World Cup 2025. I will give every single drop of sweat I have on the field to go out of that negative moment to win against Genoa in our home because I'm fighting also for myself. First for the club, because the club qualifying to Champions League is vital, crucial. This, with that bonus of the FIFA World Cup for a club, we can do better. But then also fighting for myself. I worked so much, so hard against every odd from August until end of January. I don't want to throw it away. And I want to fight for my spot to securing my spot for next season. I want to show that I deserve to be there to also participate to that new competition that is FIFA World Cup. So I want to speak about that. Now, it's totally normal that in that situation, speaking again about the coach with everything that we said, Tutto Sport is writing about Allegri. Gazzetta dello Sport is writing about Allegri. Corriere dello Sport is writing about Allegri. You know, with Tutto Sport is always going with double sense titles and they are correct tutto sport is writing max fino a quando max until when speaking about the moment that juventus is in at the moment that can't go out of it the negative result one win at the 95 minute against frosinone out of eight games until when the champions league qualification is at risk second sense of that same questions until when on the bench of Juve, until this afternoon, until the end of the season, until the end of next season where your contract will go away, until even more if your contract is extended. These are the questions, that double sense question, Max Fino a quando? Then you say that Gazzetta dello Sport is going a bit more harsh, a bit more towards one option only, Max Scotta. Scotta, scottare, you see the flames there. It's when it's uh, not burning, but, you know, heating. It's heating. The situation, Max Allegri, is heating. If you're looking at purely the stats, purely the number, these are numbers of sacking someone. It didn't happen one win in eight games since 14 years before 2011. The numbers are there. The numbers are there. Eight games for Juventus was at minus one from Inter. They had one game in hand before Juve Empoli. Until a minus 17 of yesterday after that draw, Juventus Genoa. We threw away everything that we did. Not that we were perfect, not that we were playing well, but the numbers in terms of points, the pride, the grinta, the honor was there on the field going away the emergency question because i know people will say beppe what do we do now today not end of today 18th of march 2024 i always said and i always believe decisions had to be taken from managers not from supporters because supporters today they want this tomorrow they want that not from the players because the player today is playing he's happy tomorrow he's not playing he's not happy if you give too much power to a supporter, to a player, today it's Allegri. Tomorrow it's Thiago Motta that is going. Then it's Pirlo. Then it's Ten Hag. Then it's this. The managers need to take accountability. Then they are also accountable for the choice that they are taking. They take the responsibility for their action. But they need to, ch to choose. They need to take decisions. The first emergency, I'm speaking about emergency question that managers has to ask themselves now is... Will we qualify to Champions League? The following question that they need to ask themselves is, how come we didn't wake up of the nightmare situation that we are in since eight games? 
we know why we are in it. We already, already spoke about it. We already explained from A to Z, from 1 to 100. We explained every single, we know why. But that's not the question today. The question is, how come we are not, still not out of it? That's the important thing. Again, I'm not discussing the person. I have immense respect for Allegri. I don't respect, I don't discuss the coach. Immense respect for the career. But I'm asking myself another question. At today, in this Juventus that we are in, it's not the Juventus of Agnelli, of Paratici, of Nedved. It's another Juventus. It's a Juventus with limited availabilities financially, with limited possibilities in terms of strength on transfer market. Is Max at the right spot at the right time? I never doubted that Max Allegri is a profile of Juventus. He already showed it in the past, but in this Juventus, that in these three years, we saw everything and nothing. Change of management, points, no points, a bad situation, less qualitative players and so on and so on. That's the big question. Yesterday, disaster. Yesterday, disaster. After the game, this is one of the first pictures. I have a few pictures, huh? The picture of post-game interview of Max Allegri. I have the picture of Dusan Vlaovic red card. I have the picture of the two posts. I have a picture of Vlaovic pass to Chiesa. Missed pass to Chiesa. I have the picture of Chiesa's duels. I have a picture of Chiesa that is taking the ball out of the field because he didn't pay attention. He was not focused that the field was over. I have a picture of Kostic and Chiesa. I have a picture of exactly the same lineup, starting lineup that we played already against Genoa in the home game. We did 1-1 in their home, we did 0-0 in our home. I have a lot of pictures there. Let's start with the first picture, Allegri against everyone. You feel it, you feel it that is nervous. And I understand when you are that much under pressure, when you are not happy, when the team is not responsive, Ding anymore when you can't find the right buttons to wake up, which already he said, I am accountable for it because I didn't find the right words. But he said it a few weeks ago, and until today, he still didn't find the right buttons to get out of situation. One time we improved the offensive qualities, which we saw against Napoli and Atalanta, but we concede in the back. One time we are much better in the back, but we are absolutely not dangerous. We are not absolutely not precise. Then on this other side, we are slow. We are mechanical. We don't have ideas. We didn't find the way to let the players respond and make sure that they are also aware that continuing like this, we go towards the wall. We go towards the wall. And yesterday you felt the frustration, the anger. Of course, when you are a coach, you can't say everything that is the reality. You need to still, whatever the moment is in, you need to be political. Defending the institution, the club, and not putting them into the spotlight. So you are fighting and you are receiving all these questions and you are extremely irritated. And then you go totally crazy. And you start answering things that are absolutely out of sense. Yesterday, the question, why don't you play with the tree in the front? is quite easy to answer, according to me. According to me. The answer is super easy. If you receive, why are we not playing with tree in the front? Which he already received so many times from journalists. It's easy. You can tell. Federico Chiesa is not in his moment now. As easy as that. Or... Federico Chiesa was not yet at 100% because of his physical problems and we don't have a Vlaovic or we don't have a Milik or we don't have this. Keane has only 20 minutes. He was the only change we had. You have so many football ways to explain why we don't play with three. You can say if we play with three and you don't have the efforts of a Yildiz, of a Chiesa, then we have problems and we will even concede even more goals than we conceded recently. You have so many ways to explain. It can be right, it can be wrong. But yesterday, because of anger, because of frustration, he started to say things that are not correct. He started to go towards, I'm not a politician, I don't have to make people happy, journalists or supporters. No. I can understand that, that you can't take decision to make people happy. I totally understand. But you need to explain why. Then people will still agree or not agree with you. 
but you need to explain in an easy way. And then you go crazy and you answer like that because of frustration, because of anger. And when you see these moments like that, when you see these kind of answers that makes totally no sense, and then it means that at the moment you are absolutely not serene. And to get out of a situation like that, you need to be clear in your mind. Otherwise, it's tough. The international break will be, I believe, beneficial in a way if we are all able to make, or we, the players, the coach, technical staff, whoever is staying in La Continasa to make abstraction of the voices, to breathe out again and to find lucidity. It's already 15 minutes. We need to speak about the players because it would be too easy to speak only about one man only. When I told you about losing control, yesterday Vlahovic lost control. Yesterday lost control. Look, there is a title of Tuto Sport that is writing um, La Coppia che tradisce, the duo that is betraying. Because yesterday this is also how I felt. I was absolutely angry against the coach, against the team, but also against that duo. That on paper should be the leaders, not the leaders as captain, but the leaders on the field, the technical leaders. Federico Chiesa. Dusan Vlavic, the one that we were all dreaming for, with two or with three or with whatever. Yesterday, they betrayed us. One, about his way of playing, the other one's way of playing and reaction. Today, Tuto Sport is putting a three. Never you see less than five ratings in Italy because five is already bad. Six is good. You don't have that many variations in the number. When they give you a four, it's a disaster. When they give you a three, that's a total disaster. And yesterday, Vlaovic, three performance. Chiesa, four. Allegri, five. Which is all really bad. All really bad. But it's the entire team. Eh? But that red of Vlaovic is showing also the moment that he's in. He comes from 10 goals in 10 games in Serie A. He didn't play against Atalanta. He should have been so much informed. Yesterday I made a video. Usually I never do videos in the morning before the game when we play at 12.30 because I have so many things to do. Yesterday I woke up, I said, Dusan Vlaovic is the savior today. I feel Dusan Vlaovic today. He betrayed me. He betrayed me. That reaction, knowing that Milik is injured, knowing the difficult moment, he's pissed off against the referee because of the moment, because of the thing that he missed during the games. And he will not be there against Lazio neither. Without Milik, without him. We need every single one that is thinking about Juventus. And this reaction, we are not thinking about the team. We are thinking about ourselves. We are thinking about the nurse. We are thinking about, this is not okay. Probably he was thinking about that missed pass to Chiesa. That is a picture that is totally a disaster at the 44th minute at that first half. If we're speaking about Chiesa, a lot of time people are saying, have it's playing out of position. Every single game, every single game I'm watching during the game, after the game, at half time, I'm watching at the position of Chiesa. And you can see, I don't know if I will edit it or not, you can see that Federico Chiesa is always playing as a left winger. Always playing in that position. So two things. Or he receives some orders and he's not respecting them. Because he's playing there on the left wing while he needs to play in a 3-5-2, giving support to Vlahovic. And that's worse. Because he's not listening. He's doing what he wants to. And doing what he wants to, he's not even able to show us. Because then if you show us, if you resolve, if you solve, if you are doing magic, then it's good. But on top of not listening, you are not performing. Or... He received that spot of left winger and then it's over eh, with the excuse. It's just that he's not performing. Two other things, as easy as that. But I was angry about Chiesa yesterday. Not, especially when you're looking at the duels. Yesterday I was looking at the stats. He went in the first half eight times in two duels, only one time he won. In total of the game, second half, he went only one time on duel and he lost it before being changed at the 57th. It's not okay. It is not okay. It means that you are not there to fight. It's need, it really means that you are not there to fight and to show that you want to do something. Total disaster. The only thing, and there is only one thing that Max Allegri did well, 
unfortunately, because of himself, because of that lineup that he missed totally. Well, changing Chiesa, McKenny, McKenny because of injury. We saw it, he was not in his game. And Kostic. Kostic and Chiesa on that, of, on that wing is a total disaster. You know it, I know it. This is a mistake of Max to still continue to play with both of them on that. It's not, Or you play Chiesa on the right and Kostic on the left. But never both of them on this. It's a total disaster. They are stepping on their feet. It is not working. But then he's changing him, only good thing. And then you see a total different Juventus. A Juventus that at that certain moment is even unlucky with a fantastic shot of Ealing Jr. post after the deflection of the goalkeeper with that post of the most unlucky guy of Juventus. This is not possible. Moiskin, at a certain point, you're even thinking, this guy is unlucky. Why should I put him in? Because it, it, on top of not score, he's unlucky. Another post of Juventus, but it was not enough. Huh? If you have 17 attempts from every possible angle and you're always going on contrast, they are blocking everything and you go only twice on target, one time with Ealing, one time with Gatti, a sloppy shot from the distance, it is not enough. The procession increased with 66%. The pass accuracy increased, but why? Because we are slow, because we are mechanical, because we are predictable. From the moment that you are up, and you need to accelerate, you miss. It is not normal that Locatelli, because then people, I know how you are. Eh? Hey, but you love Allegri, you hate Mavlaovic, you hate Chiesa, you love Locatelli. No. Allegri bad, Vlaovic bad, Chiesa bad, Locatelli bad, Locatelli bad. Locatelli slow, mechanical, 32 touches in first half for the regista. Every time that he's playing, he's playing the safe way. And even there, he's missing things. It's not okay. And I know how much Loca Telly is loving Juve. How much he cares. I know. I, I am convinced about But he's not able to translate it on the field. That's a problem. That's really a problem. A last topic and then we close. Um, Galeone, mentor of Galliani, spoke again in Gazzetta dello Sport. He said, it is the moment for Max to go to a foreign country. Premier League is for him. Uh, I know that a lot of people will laugh. I know that a lot of people will, uh, um, will think that it's not even possible. I'm watching a lot La Liga, Liga. 1. Bundesliga, uh, Premier League, especially this season with the second channel. When I'm seeing how unorganized, how unstructured Premier League is in the way of uh, managing the non-possession of the game, I'm even I, I'm even convinced that he could do well. Unfortunately, it's a high, high, high intensity. I don't know. Then. I don't believe that he will go to Premier League. I don't believe that a Premier League club will hire Max Allegri. But that brings me towards another question. Tiago Motta, are we sure that he will come to Juve? If Max is not there, are we sure that he wants to go to Juve if Bologna qualifies to Champions League? Two situations, eh? Bologna qualifies to Champions League, Juventus doesn't. Hopefully it never happens. But why should he go to Juve not to continue with Bologna? Two, both clubs, they qualify to Champions League. Why should he not stay and try with Bologna after everything that he deserved on the field? Question? Eh? We don't know. Guys, if you want to maximum of like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, we see each other probably uh, later or on the second channel with a review of what happened this weekend with Manchester United. Crazy game against United, uh, against Liverpool yesterday. But also Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. The score that I didn't see coming. Absolutely not. Maximum of like. Thank you. Grazie, forza. Juve.